So as an overview of CADEX, the problem based on private sector feedback is that participant knowledge or user knowledge varies all over the map when you do these big exercises. And when you have varying degrees of expertise at the table, it reduces the overall user experience. People come and they don't follow along, they don't understand the language, and they don't return. And in public-private work, you have to sustain the involvement and motivate people to move forward. Otherwise, it's not effective. Well, when you have people that don't have a good experience, they, 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 they don't return, it reduces the overall operational effectiveness of the exercise. And what the private sector likes to do with exercises is use these exercises with states, since there are no regional plans per se, they use these exercises to identify gaps and then create possible solutions that can be tested in the next exercise or even in the next disaster, which we've seen many times in the private sector. So the solution was they needed a process that creates a tiered exercise approach that engages everyone, both beginners, intermediate users, and experts, and puts them into a process that's specifically designed to increase their, ex their overall experience, to increase the overall effectiveness, and accelerate the education for beginners, whether it is at a single meeting or multiple meetings. So by using this approach, they can break things down into small bites, and then users have a better experience. So at the beginner level, now who are beginners? These could be brand new political appointees, they could be new emergency management directors, they could be new people that have moved into a certain company or sector, they could be a regulator, they could be a number of different people, public or private, but they're new to everything about SICE and CADEX and, and the products and the fleet response working group and all the things that have been done. So the beginner basically gets an introduction process where he is introduced to SICE and what it is and why it works and why it's there and the CADEX exercise which is used to onboard people into the SICE as well as train them on how to get ready to respond to a disaster the following week. So there's a read ahead process that they go through that proposes a real-world scenario and it tests their ability to access the SICE and find and access the CADEX app. And then it tests kind of through real-world scenario again how, how to access or teaches them how to access the daily dashboard which they can use during blue sky or black sky days. So by the time beginners go through this process which can be played 24-7, it's online all the time, it's an automated self-guided exercise process. By the time they're done they're educated they're showing, they're showed how to create a SICE account and they've created the account, they've accessed the CADEX exercise app, they've, re, um, they've received some emails that prompt them along the way, and they get, to, they get to use the daily dashboard, which is the number one tool all of us use, you know, across multiple states and sectors to maintain our common situational awareness as we work together. So when they complete the beginner phase, then they go to the intermediate phase, which then introduces higher level scenarios and allows them to test higher level disaster management apps that are created for specific purposes. And when they complete that, again, all self-guided and virtual, when they complete that, then we go to the expert level, which is really our tier three exercises, and that's a combination of online drills or discussion-based exercises where they can actually create or suggest the creation of new modules or new products. It can be exported into anyone's exercise, whether it's a state exercise or FEMA or DOE or DOT or any sector exercise. The idea is to create, using our experts, they create ongoing exercise drills that can be used to train a number of people for specific issues that are common repetitive problems that when does they have to address when disasters strike. So this overview basically creates a continuum that will allow new users to come in and move through a process that will help them get up to speed and it's over and over and over again and the idea is to build an army of expert users who are then creating new use cases and exercise modules to address specific problems anywhere in the United States.